Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw an ellipse in Rhino. And to draw an ellipse, you're going to type in ellipse in the command bar. And the native way to draw an ellipse is through radius, just like the circle command. So you're actually going to be specifying the center, and you know that because in the top left-hand corner, it says ellipse center. So the moment we left-click to start the command, um, it's actually going to draw. Uh, this is not what you're drawing in Rhino. This is just sort of like a construction line. So if we hit the second point, um, you can see that that line disappears and we can change the shape of the ellipse. Um, you can also enter specific dimensions if you need be. Um, and to finish the command, you just hit the left click and it ends the sequence. Now to do a ellipse through a diameter, we'll reinitiate the command ellipse. And in this top bar, you can see that they have a diameter way to draw an ellipse and it has I is underlined, so we can type I, enter, and now we can draw the ellipse through diameter. Um, one thing to note is when you highlight the ellipse command, the uh, vertexes appear. If you were to use, um, obviously we know that this moves the object around, but you can also change the ellipse manually um, once it's drawn through these different squares so we can elongate it whichever direction we want um, but if you were to highlight maybe one of these points you were to draw or drag the arrow in you can see that it changes the shape permanently I suggest usually just either creating another one or using kind of endpoints here to change the ellipse. 